merchants. They were filthy rich. In German, they would say Steinreich, stone rich, because only the, the wealthiest people could afford to build houses of stone and brick. All the, all the less uh, well-to-do people build their houses uh, of wood or a combination of wood and bricks. You know, the wooden frame, they have timbered houses. And Regensburg is full with both. And, um, and uh, the reason why tomorrow we'll have the chance to walk by these 14th, 15th century old timber frame houses and, and, and stone houses uh, while, while walking down these cobblestone uh, stone, uh, narrow alleyways is that uh, is, is something that was a misfortune for locals back in the late 15th century, early 16th century. Until then, the, the town florists, they were really rich, and then something happened on the lower uh, sections of the Danube, namely in the 14th, uh, 1400s, the Ottoman Empire started uh, its advances, first on the Balkans, <coughs> occupying the Balkans, cutting uh, off communication on the lower stretches of the Danube, therefore cutting off uh, supply routes as well. So these wealthy merchants in, of Regensburg uh, uh, did not have uh, uh, a steady so, uh, and, a, and a secure supply route. So they were facing two things, either leaving the town, moving somewhere else, or weathering it out. Maybe the bad times would go away. So a lot of them left, uh, many others stayed. And those who stayed uh, bet on the wrong horse because they couldn't weather it out. They went down. And uh, lucky for us, it's lucky for us, ladies and gentlemen, 21st century tourists, because in a town where they, when people are impoverished and they have no money uh, to, to make any improvement on the town, or let alone uh, building brand new buildings, they just keep living in the old ones. And uh, they don't even uh, bother remodeling them. You know, fashions come and go, and then they, their houses stay the same. So when you visit Regensburg tomorrow, you will have this feeling, at least that's what I have, okay? Uh, maybe, maybe you will have a different one, but uh, uh, I, whenever I, I'm in Regensburg, I always have this feeling that I'm, I'm walking in a city that was frozen back in the 16th century. And uh, it has a, a lot of interesting things. The entire historic city center is a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. Actually, in Regensburg, there are two uh, designated World Cultural Heritage Sites. Uh, one is the entire historic city center, and right next to it, there's a single stone bridge, 12th century stone bridge, which also earned that title. And um, unlike in, in uh, many other countries where, uh, which have UNESCO sites, here in Regensburg, there's a small museum which is subsidized by UNESCO. Because usually, um, um, usually the upkeeping and maintenance of these, of these sites, UNESCO sites, is the responsibility of the country on whose territory they are located. But in this case, they run uh, um, uh, a small a, an exhibition in a small museum, and it's called, uh, I think it's called the Stonebridge Museum. And 